I'm here with Jan Jonas from EVGA to talk a bit about overclocking. Jan, tell us about EVGA and overclocking. So obviously EVGA and overclocking are very close together and it's a big part at EVGA as well. Um, we have different series, we have the SC version which are already factory overclocked, superclocked version and then they go higher like FTW for the RIN versions and we even have classified and kingpin version, especially the kingpin is really a card which is designed just for extreme overclocking with LN2. And so, but you can already see and where I want to get to that overclocking is a big part. We are offering different software and um, we really try to get the maximum out of your, out of your chip. Yeah, out of your graphics card chip, yeah. Excellent, CPU but even. in a nutshell, what is overclocking? Yeah, overclocking itself, I mean, it really depends on the, on the chip yourself you have. So every chip is overclocking differently. Um, and you try to get the maximum out of that chip. That's very easy said, overclocking to get more performance, yeah. basically. I remember it used to be very complicated because you had to mess around with you know, voltages and jumper switches and multipliers, and it, it felt quite dangerous. Yeah. And I know for me, one of the things I always used to worry about was uh, invalidating my warranty. Yeah, so, so nowadays overclocking is really, to be fair, it's, it's very easy to do. Um, everybody can do it. And I, uh, as you just mentioned, I, I often get also these discussions, oh, I didn't overclock or I don't want to really overclock it. Uh, I lose my warranty, maybe my card gets uh, defect or broken or anything. But nowadays it's really so easy to do. You, there is software which you can use. We have a software uh, for the GPU called Precision XOC uh, and you just go for that and uh, it's very easy to do really. Excellent, and they also have uh, the GPU Boost 3.0 as well. Yeah, so uh, NVIDIA also introduced the GPU Boost 3.0 uh, with Pascal, and uh, this is kind of an automatic overclocking already, so it already goes over your boost frequency, um, and it's depending on uh, different factors like uh, temperatures, uh, power as well, and uh, voltages, yeah. Excellent, so what's the difference between Precision XOC and GPU Boost 3? Um, as I just mentioned, GPU Boost 3 um, will overclock your card already a little, but in a very safe uh, yeah. area. And uh, when you w really want to get the maximum out of your chip, you open the software and then you can uh, just go for it. May we just take a look? Sure, yeah. So um, I've already opened here our uh, EVGA Precision XOC software. Um, uh, as I just said, uh, here, here basically you have all the settings. You have the GPU temperature, you have your GPU clock, the memory clock as well. And um, what you can do here, you have different slides. Um, you can set the power target higher. So uh, every card has a, has a target, right? Uh, it's rather 280 watts, for example, for the FTW3, and you can higher that so you can uh, get more out of your card, more performance. Because when you hit that limit, um, maybe the card could go even higher, but there's a limit for that. So you can just turn that um, with this slide basically higher to 117%. Um, and then you can set a GPU clock offset. So this offset will be added to your frequency. So for example, if we get 1900 mm -hmm. uh, with the GPU boost and we set plus 100 offset, we will get around two gigahertz. But we will take a look at that uh, in a second. And it's the same memory clock offset here as well. Uh, what you want to do is also maximize the voltage, which is allowed uh, uh, with uh, Precision XOC. But you don't have to worry that this voltage will go crazy high that anything gets broken or that. You don't have to worry about that at all because there's a limit from NVIDIA. Excellent, so it's a very safe system. Though. It is very safe still to do. So when you, when you overclock, the only thing really can happen is that the software you're running, the game you're running, the benchmark, whatever, uh, will crash, but nothing else, yeah. nothing else really. And you keep your warranty. That's also what, is, uh, what, you, what you asked about before. Um, so what about we just go back to defaults first mm -hmm. and uh, I've opened the superposition uh, benchmark here and uh, we just want to benchmark shortly at uh, 4K to take a look at that. Um, because with Precision XOC you also have the OSD screen, the on-screen display, where you can actually um, see frame rates, you can see temperatures, uh, frequencies and everything. And um, it's running in, in the very left side over there. And uh, yeah, as you can see with the FTW3 hybrid 1080 Ti in here, uh, we have a very good temperature of the GPU. It's just about 32, 33 now, going up to probably about 40. And at the moment, you can see we, have, we are running with 1960, 1949, so 1950, around that as a max clock. Mm -hmm. um, and this is GPU, so I, we didn't really do anything, yeah. right? Um, and this is the uh, GPU boost 3.0 okay. kicking in, yeah. 
So your software basically lets you take it even further, but you still yeah. get the benefits that it's it's all safe. You're not going to cause any damage. Exactly. Um, and also, I like the fact you have those different targets because people have different machines, different cooling setups in their machines, yeah. and this lets you have it completely customized. Exactly. That's fantastic. Exactly, yeah. And uh, we just let it run a little bit. We have now about average frame rate is about 76, 75. So um, let's just uh, stop that here. Okay. Okay, and uh, now we go into manual overclocking. Yeah, let's push So what it. you want to do is basically just go up with the voltages. As I said before, it's uh, very safe to do uh, just the maximum here. Uh, then we also want to hire the power target as well. And uh, the temp target, you can also, you can just unlink that and then you can say, okay, I don't want my car to get over this temperature, but we don't have to worry about yeah. that at all here because we were like 40 degrees Celsius here at all. So, and then you said, and that's the, one of the important parts here, we said the GPU clock offset. So we were running at 1950, I think, right? Mm -hmm. 1950. And um, okay, let's let's try to hit the hit the um, uh, two gigahertz. Okay. So then we basically just go about plus 50 or plus 60 will work as well. Uh, just hit the apply button. And uh, when you have a so now we here we have a liquid cold uh, a liquid cooled right uh, yeah. card. So um, this is also automatically already very cool. But if you have a, um, for example, the 1080 Ti FTW3, yeah. um, then you have three fans and you want to hit them all to the maximum to get a better cooling. And yeah. um, also, they're independent as well, aren't they? So they yeah, will... they're independent with the ICX technology. Uh, so there is very important that you also hit all three fans to the maximum yeah. when you want to get the maximum out of your card. Here we don't have to do that. The only uh, fan we can power up is the um, VRM fan, which is yeah. over here. So we just hit that button and power it up. And then we want it again. So now we set plus 60, so we should be around two gigahertz now. Okay, so we are at, oh, we are even higher. We are at 250 at the moment. Wow. Yeah. 30, 37 degrees, yeah, 230. So we had, yeah, 20, 20, 25, 20, 25, 20, 50 was the max. That's excellent. And it's just managing all the cooling and everything. So all the changes yeah. you've made, it's just taking care of any Exactly. Any you can... You can also, I mean, I just now ramp the fan up to the maximum, yeah. right? Just to have a cool, have to be sure to have everything cooled uh, the maximum um, to max out the card. But you, of course, also can set uh, a different fan curve as you like uh, when it hits this temperature yeah. on the memory, on the VRM, on the GPU, then please kick in with this RPM. So this you can really define by yourself. That's great. So if, you, if noise is a concern for you, if you work, say, in a professional studio, exactly. you can make sure that, you know, you, you keep it as quiet as possible, but you yeah. still get fantastic performance yeah and and for this kind of scenario this uh, all-in-one cooling solution here with the hybrid version is perfect because um, we did another video about this card actually and you can see that this fan will really not even run at all at yeah. the very beginning and uh, I mean the all-in-one water cooling solution is very very silent so we also let it run here now a little bit we are at still at 2050 um, and the average frame rate is about uh, 78 79 so there's already you can see there's about uh, three to four more frames per second already yeah and uh yeah and what you're gonna do now i mean this was stable you can let it run a little bit more and then you just go more i mean you you are now at plus 60 we can let basically you really try it till it crash um, and yeah. because then you know okay this is the maximum let's step a little sure. bit back but even if it does crash it's not like you've caused any damage exactly you just bring it down a little bit and you yeah. know that for your system this is where the sweet spot is exactly you're getting the most for your money you're getting the maximum performance and everything yeah. is nice and safe and no invalidated warranty exactly that's, that's totally true and uh, once you found that sweet spot you can also just save it in the profiles here you basically do your settings just do a right click in here and then it's saved in the profile you just hit that button apply and then that's it and it even can start on the windows automatically so that when, once you boot your system yeah. out everything will be will be already overclocked as you uh, said it so we are let's just plus 85 um, apply and then just let it run again 
the maximum of really of your current also depends on, as I mentioned before, on your own GPU. So yeah. every GPU is different. Um, so it's also a little bit of a GPU lottery. But what is really important is um, also a good cooling. Sure. Yeah. So with that in mind, then this software doesn't just run on this card. No, it does not. You can basically use nearly every NVIDIA card you have. Wow. Um, 10 series, 9 series, uh, that 7 series, that really works uh, with all the cards. Yeah. So this Precision XOC software really is something that anyone with an NVIDIA card, or well, almost anyone with an NVIDIA card, yeah. will definitely want to get their hands on. Yeah, for sure, they should. I mean, it, it just it's, it's, it's first that you get more performance. It's also fun to play a little bit around with the card. You know your card. Um, with ICX, you have that sensor button where you can see all the temperatures. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you should definitely get that software, of course. Excellent. So we did uh, plus 85 now, we are at 2063 at the moment. Yeah, 2063 and uh, average frame rate of uh, 78, 79. So it also stable. So let's, yeah. just, let's just really kick it in and try to get the 2.1 gigahertz. That is really, um, I'm, to be honest, I'm not sure if that will work. <laughs> uh, but we just try it, uh, go to plus 100. Uh, ba -ba. Uh, plus one at nine might be a little bit too much, but we just try it. Apply, and one. I mean, it's okay if it, like I said, maybe we just yeah. let it crash to see um, for the people really as proof that there's just nothing what happens. It just crashed and that's I mean, it. really, if you're trying to find the most performance, it's going to be a natural part of that process. Yeah, it to is. To eventually push exactly. it to that point. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah, we at 2.1 gigahertz. Wow. At the moment, still running. 288, 288. Average frame rate 82 at the moment. So there's also definitely a performance increase. In sure, here. yeah. I mean, we've seen at least 10, 10 FPS increase, haven't we? Yeah. And that's, that's quite significant, really. Yeah, it can be. Especially also, I mean, if you have an older car, right? And yeah. you, there's a new game. And you may be at the, at the limit, like... Uh, 30 FPS or something where you can really play it. Yeah. Um, that's the best way to do before you buy maybe a new card. Sure, yeah, that's fantastic. So um, is this software expensive? How much does it cost? No, it's not expensive at all. It, it doesn't cost anything. It's for free. Uh, you right. just, uh, yeah, you can just download it. You go to evga.com and uh, then they have a, a service or software button and then you can just download a, the software. Wow, that's We have excellent. even more software uh, for CPU overclocking and uh, yeah, even more. Just check that out there. That's fantastic. Okay, so it's not, oh, there we go. I just want to say it didn't crash it, but yeah, I think, <laughs> yeah, perfect. There we go. So that's really the only thing what happens, right? Yeah. Um, uh, the, the, the benchmark now crashed, it says, okay, it's not stable enough. Uh, we just say, okay, close the program. I mean, that, that's quite a safe okay, crash as well. Then, it's not frozen yeah, the whole system. Yeah, nothing, nothing happens. The system is still working at all uh, without any problems. So we probably have to go to plus 100. Um, to still hit 2.1 gigahertz or 20, 60, 20, 70, about that, yeah. That's fantastic. That's excellent. Perfect. Let's go back to default. And uh, yeah, feel free to download that software. Really, everybody can, everybody can use it. It's pretty easy to do. If you want to put your hands on, you don't lose your warranty. So I really, I mean, I overclocked before also. So yeah. I'm, I'm kind of uh, yeah. like that. And, um, but it sounds like a no brainer because the software yeah. looked quite easy to use, you know, and it's free. It is. It seems like a very, yeah. Especially on the, I mean, air or liquid uh, overclocking yeah. with the software is really pretty easy to do. I mean, when it comes to with the Kingpin version and liquid nitrogen and uh, things like that, there are some uh, tricks you have to do. But uh, apart from that, really the basic overclocking, uh, which really everybody can do. Yeah. Fantastic. Jan, thank you very much for that demonstration. It was a pleasure. And if you'd like to get your hands on the Precision XOC software, there'll be a link in the description below. Yeah.